Hi guys, how are you? Uh, okay, we're a wee bit bright here. Let me just try and get this uh, lighting sort of light here. Is that better? It looks really, really bright. <laughs> Hi, are you guys? Um, so tonight we're gonna make um, some hungry caterpillar cake toppers. A wee while ago, I did a tutorial on, um, oh, he's stuck to the table. Come on, mister. I did a tutorial on this wee guy here. Um, I'll link the tutorial below if you wanna know how to make the actual hungry caterpillar. And I also have templates for him in my um, Etsy shop if you wanted to make him along with the templates. I'll link those as well. But I think since I've done, hi Simone, hi Pam. So since we've made this wee guy before, um, I thought we would go ahead and make, you know, all the different foods and stuff to go, hi bright eyes to go around the cake as well. I will set them like that and then that way you can look at them while we're, while we're working. Maybe set them like that. He might be able to give us a wee bit of inspiration while we're working. Um, I'm trying to get my camera angle. Normally I have this all sorted, but I'm not used to the overhead camera that I have tonight. So uh, we're trying to get better as the, at this as we go along. So hopefully, let's see um, if you could see the... <laughs> The high I'm balancing this camera, my goodness. Right, I'm just gonna move him out of the way. So uh, the different foods we have, we'll just get straight into making the, I think I'll make the cheese first because it's the lighter one. Hi, Baron. Um, because I generally, whenever I'm making cake, cake toppers, I start off with the lighter colors first and then I don't really need to worry about my hands getting covered in darker colors. You know what it's like? I'll link everything that I'm using in this tutorial as well down below if you if you do happen to be making this yourself. I'm gonna go in with some um, yellow icing here. And what you can do, if you wanted, you could mix this in with some uh, white fondant as well. Um, if you kind of thought it was a wee bit too vibrant. But um, I think in the, in the one that I've done before, well, I have never made these on a tutorial before, but I think the ones that I have made, um, it wasn't a vibrant yellow, but we'll just stick with this because this is what I have to hand at the minute. So you're just gonna take some, so we're starting off with our cheese. Um, we're just gonna take, I think I get used to this overhead camera, but it's so much easier, you wouldn't believe because I'm not buying it into a camera, hopefully. This, you never know guys, this could be the first ever tutorial where I don't knock a camera over. <laughs> so I am just going to roll this out into sort of like a rectangle shape and it's like I said before these lights make everything so warm that's just a store-bought fondant um bright eyes so um I'll link everything that I'm using down below but this wee one here is this is one that I get out of um, Home Bargains, which is like a, a shop near us, which is really, really sells bargains. <laughs> and um, it can be really, really good for stuff like um, you get some bargains, you know, well, because it's called Home Bargains, but you can get some fondant and different cake pieces really, really cheap. So I'm gonna go in with one of these um, blades here. So the coloured fondant is normally quite expensive to buy, but in Home Bargains, I think that was like 79p. So if I'm buying coloured stuff, I would buy it out of there. Normally I do like to um, colour the stuff myself, but, um, you know, for 75p or 79p, you couldn't really be do any better than that. So as you can see, I've just cut this into like a... Uh, rectangle shape and then I'm just going to curve along here and then we're just going to cut here as well like that okay then we're going to take just lift it and set it back down again so that it's not going to stick to your surface then we're going to take a ball till and you're gonna use both sides of the ball till you're gonna use the larger side and the smaller side, and that's gonna give us our cheese effect. So 
you're just going to press that down and then use the smaller side. There's really no rhyme or reason. So you can see it kind of looks more like cheese. I'm going to take a small um, plunger cutter. 51 years, my goodness. I remember reading the Hungry Caterpillar book whenever I was a child. I loved it. That's crazy. So you're going to take a, a circle cutter and we're going to use this circle cutter to put the holes in the food that the caterpillar has eaten. So, um, But for now, we're just going to make a few wee indentations along the outside. Okay. So we're going to give our cheese a bit of a trim. Um, you think I would be organized and have all my colors sitting out, but um, I was, I'm just making this for tomorrow. I thought I would just show you how to do it. This is a really popular um, cake topper, I think. Um, I think a lot of people are getting really into the old style books. The Gruffalo would be a really popular book as well. So now I'm taking some kind of flesh colored fondant or you could go with brown. Um, and we're just gonna use this to create a little trim here. So you're just gonna roll that into like a sausage shape. Yeah, isn't it lovely though, the books that you read as a child, then reading them to your children, it's so nostalgic. Although my kids, they're always horrified if I show them the kind of movies that we <laughs> used to watch. They're always horrified at how bad the quality is. So what did I do with my water? So you're going to just take a wee tiny bit of water. And just, these are really, really simple. And if you didn't want to get into making the caterpillar, there's no reason why you couldn't make these and even use them as cupcake toppers as well. So we're just going to... This is just going to be used then as a trim um, along the outside of our cheese. So you're just going to cut it. Uh, hopefully it's going to be the right size. And it is. And then I'm going to take this little knife till here. The tiger that came to tea, yes. And just make some indentations along here. And then you're gonna place that along the outside. So it doesn't need to be perfect. Okay. So what we're gonna do at the very end, we're gonna go in and do a wee bit of shading on all of our toppers, but we're not gonna do that now because once you get the dust site, everything gets so dusty and messy. We'll leave that to the end, but the last thing you want to do before you leave it to dry is you want to just punch a wee hole in it. All right, and that's your first one. Okay, so now what did I do with my, with my sponge? So you're just going to lift this off. And set it onto your sponge there. Um, and this is just a sponge that I use for drying cake toppers. You can get these as well. So that's our first one. Um, right, we'll do our orange now. So for this one, the same. I'm going to use some orange fondant this time. So this one, uh, I really should have got my scales so I could measure out or weigh this for you so you could see how much fondant I'm using for each item. Um, but sure, we'll just work with what we've got. So what you're going to try and do is get them around the same kind of size as well. So it might need a wee bit more. Okay. So you're just going to roll this into uh, into a ball shape. Just going to set that there. 
Okay. So there is our just our ball. And then we're going to take our rolling pin and gently, you're not going to roll it too flat. And you don't want this to be too perfect either. And just check it's around the same size. Okay. Then what we're going to do with this is we're just going to go around the outside a wee bit just to create a wee bit of dimension. And then you're going to use this again just for the orange. Then you're going to take a oh, dressing tool and just push that down like that and push it over to the sides as well. And this is going to be our orange. So we're going to give our orange a wee leaf as well. So I've got some brine here and we're just going to use a piece of brine to create a stalk. So you're just going to use a tiny wee piece of brine and roll it like that. I'm going to create a wee indentation here just so that's going to sit neatly in there. And you're going to use your water. Okay, and then just set that, pop that in there. Then I'm going to get some green. So you're going to get a wee bit of green and you're just going to roll it into a teardrop shape. Like that, just pressing down on one side. And then you're going to take your rolling pin and you're just going to press down until you get that sort of shape. I just need to hit something on my computer here. Okay, tell me if this lighting is too bright and I can turn it down. It's hard for me to tell. Um, so you've got your wee teardrop shape here and you're gonna use this wee knife tool again. You just press down the center. Don't go right to the start. Let's create some wee lines. Okay, and that's just your leaf. And again, we'll go in and do some dusting and stuff at the end. The dusting, you know, you might, you don't probably don't need to do the dusting and stuff, but I quite like it. It just makes your toppers look a lot more realistic. And if you're taking photographs of them as well, it makes them come to life. So there's your wee orange. So we're gonna lift him off now. Oh, we need to put our wee. I need to put a wee hole in it. So there's your orange. So now we are going to make the, what do we do next? We'll do the watermelon. Okay, so for the watermelon, we're gonna go in with some Red. Okay. If you are ever going to use colours, this is probably really basic for a lot of you guys, but um, if you are going to use coloured gels, you can't really colour. You probably already know this, but you can't really get, you're better just buying red fondant because you can never seem to get the red colour. It always turns like a pinky colour. Okay, so we've got some red here. And we're just gonna roll it out. Okay. Now we're gonna take this wee blade again. And we're just gonna not cut ourselves like I just done. I'm going to create an upside down V shape. I 
And then we're gonna just sort of curve that around slightly at the bottom. We're gonna lift it up. Set it back down again, it just stops it sticking. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna go in with some green here. Let's see. So again, it's sort of the same thing that we done with the cheese. You're just gonna go in and create a green strip surface over here. So you're just gonna cut this in a straight line. If you can do like a, a wee curve, that's even better. So. Like that. And then I'm gonna take this wee knife till again. I use this wee till every single day, it's great. And just create a wee indentation. And for water again. And just lift that and place it down. I'd be interested to know how those of you that make cakes for your business, how are your businesses holding up through all of this um, COVID situation? Are you still making cakes or has it came to a bit of a standstill? Okay, so I'm going to take some. I was, I think, uh, yeah, it was the month of April my orders just stopped. I don't do cakes, but I do cake toppers and stuff. And um, so we're going to take some brine here. And we're going to roll it out a lot of wee teardrop shapes out of this brine for the seeds. So I'm just going to roll this out and cut it into a few pieces, small pieces. Oh, is that how you started yours, Bright Eyes? Well, there's a good... Light at the end of the tunnel. That's really good to know. And I was supposed for a lot of people at, um, you're just gonna stick these on. It really does show you probably what is important in life and what you really, really want to do as well. I was super, super busy up until about April and then my orders completely stopped, which I understand. Um, and then I got really busy again. And then I had to close my shop for a couple of months. Um, and I think that's it's probably more down to that than I had to close my shop for June and July. And I think it's probably just because I closed my shop. I don't think it's really anything to do with COVID, um, and it just hasn't really picked up again. I mean, I am still getting a few orders, but it's not anywhere near what it used to be, which is that's a good thing, I suppose, because it's given me time now to come on here a bit more. So I'm just going to put my hole there. So that's, did anybody else start a, a business? cake business because of COVID. So we're gonna set this one here now. Okay. So because the strawberry's red, we'll just go ahead and make the strawberry now as well. So strawberry's very similar to the orange. Might need a wee bit more. But it didn't really affect us. My husband works from home, his job, he works from home. So it didn't really affect us. It wasn't a big, big change for us. The only difference would have been that he would travel. So you're gonna roll it into a teardrop shape and then we're gonna just 
get our rolling pin and push down. Um, so it didn't really affect us too much in that sense that we're used to being together. I think for a lot of people, if you're used to going out and having a job and then you're suddenly at home and everybody's under the one roof, it probably would be quite a shock. Um, I find if I use a coloured marshmallow, if I find if I use a coloured marshmallow when making fondant, it's, oh yeah, very good. Very good. Red and black, I normally buy to get a true colour. Yes, Simone, I'm the same. So I'm just going to do the same with this. We're going to put a wee indentation at the top. And I might roll this up a wee bit more. Make it look like a monster strawberry. But I feel so bad for, um, and then you're going to go in and do some wee strawberry seeds as well, the same way as we done the seeds for the watermelon. Um, and a wee stalk as well. Yeah, I feel really bad for people in the hospitality industry or hairdressing and stuff. You know, um, it's really hit those people hard. Okay, and then you're just going to do the same to create some wee seeds. The only good thing is um, I did really enjoy how it showed me how much, how crazy my life was up until, you know, lockdown and stuff because... The kids did so much on, I had so much on, my husband was traveling, it was just, it was crazy. Um, and we realized, we all realized, even the kids said, you know, when this is all over, can we not be as busy? So they don't do uh, as half as many things as what they were doing and they're a lot happier for it. Um. And it just goes to show, you know, they were just happy being at home. Sometimes you feel like they need to be doing a million and one things. And really it is when you get back down to the simple things. So we're going to make a lot of wheat leaves here. My daughter, when she eats strawberries, she just sticks the whole, the whole thing in her mouth. She just leaves it all. She loves strawberries, and I don't know many times I've said to her, Holly, don't eat the leaves, but she just can't help herself. She just loves all fruit. So we're going to get a wee bit of water here and just put it over the top here. Yeah, Simone, I know the weddings are just... Um, I'd be so disappointing. My nephew, um, he was due to get married in May and then the weddings opened up again. But he had, as soon as the weddings opened up again, they booked in, they got married the very first day that they could. But it's so disappointing, I suppose, you know, if you've planned a whole wedding, but it worked out really well because they're both, his wife, they're both really, really laid back. So, they end up getting the wedding that they really wanted out of it. Um, but we, everybody had to stay in the car. So you're just going to... But they didn't want to risk waiting. And I suppose now they really did make the right decision because the, the weddings haven't really increased again. So there's our strawberry. Um, so we've got okay, so now we will do our pear. So these are really, really simple. <laughs> are you reading the book, Baron? So I'm going to use, I don't know if I showed you the green, did I show you the green? 
again, if you're in the UK, um, these colours are just from either B&M or Home Bargains. Yeah, and you said about no party, Simone, my wee boy, he was um, seven there last week and no parties, no friends. It's a lot different to last year, but he still wanted a big cake, mind you. <laughs> so for the pair, I'm just rolling that into a circle and you're gonna, again, like a teardrop shape, a long teardrop shape. And then you're gonna get your rolling pin and you're just gonna put pressure down this one side here. Okay, just run your finger around the outside. I actually find these a lot of fun to make these wee ones. I think I made a pizza before, Baron. I think there is a pizza cake on my... Yes, there is. I made, a, I think, a Domino's pizza before, which was good. So you're going to... Then you're going to just cut off that wee top bit there. And we're just going to shape that like that. Okay, now what am I going to use to, let me see, I'm going to use probably the bottom of a paintbrush um, or just something, anything round and we're just going to push, keep it up here at the bottom and don't worry about you know, it doesn't have to be perfect because fruit isn't perfect. Um, and then we're just going to go in and take this sweet part at the top and just create a wee indentation. Hi, Tannin. Hi, Kelly and Pip. Um, and so you're just going to press down and then we're going to use a wee bit of brine again and we're oh sorry I don't speak um, Polish but I could use my um, translate afterwards to see what you're saying how you doing Kelly so now this is just another wee. Okay. So this didn't turn out great, this one. <laughs> I'm gonna just pull that wee bit up a wee bit. That's better. Okay, I'm gonna stick that in again. There you go. Okay, oh, I forgot to add the water in. I need to, I really need to cut my nails. Okay, so um, we're gonna use the circle cutter again. Okay. So what have we got left? We've one, two, three, four, five. What have we next? What else is there? Um, there's the ice cream, isn't there? So the ice cream, we're going to... Okay, I'm gonna use some of this kind of color, like a flesh color, apple barren. <laughs> um, 
and we're going to again roll this into like a teardrop shape for the cone. And then roll it out. My husband made um, like an apple pie. It's like a Disney recipe on or yesterday, and it was amazing. It had um, okay. So you're going to just cut this into a V shape. Okay, I keep stabbing myself with this thing. And we're going to just cut it a wee bit further up so that we can put the ice cream on top. So yes, he made, it was his brother, give him this recipe, his brother would go to the States every year. Um, right, I need to get some pink, give me a second. So yes, he would go to Disney every year and there's some sort of um, Disney apple pie that he was telling my husband about where it has, you've got like pastry, but you've also got cake batter. And then the cake batter turns into like a crumbly type thing. Oh my goodness, it was unbelievable. It was gorgeous. It took a lot of... Um, hassle to make it but it was so worth it so we're going to take some white and some pink hi ellie and we're going to just mix that in together so it becomes kind of like a swirly but yeah oh my goodness you wouldn't believe how good that I sort of thought, how is this going to turn out, this cake? It seemed like a really weird concept, you know. Um, but, oh, it was so good. Okay, so it's kind of like a marbled effect. That's just so it kind of looks more, a wee bit more like raspberry, raspberry ripple. I'm a mint chalk chip type of girl. <laughs> Okay, so just going to measure that against that. Uh, we're going to just use our knife here. And you're just going to do like a swirly. And then just push it out. So we're going to use... This little knife till again and we're just going to create some indentations and you don't want to push too hard because you don't want to which I think I might have done let's see no um, I'm going to just use some water here and stick this down so you're placing your ice cream over the top like that. Then we're going to get another piece and we're just going to create like a wee strip. This ice cream might be a bit too big when you look at the size of the of the other one. So just bear that in mind. Just try and keep everything the same size. I'm just going to cut out a wee strip here. And same thing, we're going to create these wee lines as well. And just place that over the top. And just use your knife to come in. So we're going to have like a blob of ice cream coming down. So again, you're just going to use the teardrop shape, like that, and a wee bit of water, and press that down. That just looks like a big drip. Now, where did my circle cutter go? So just do your wee 
circle there. So there is our ice cream. Can anybody remember what else there is? Um, oops. So there's our ice cream. Oh yeah, the cherry pie, Baron. Okay. So that's the ice cream. Um, oh, the cupcake and the lollipop as well as the cherry pie. Goodness, we'll be here all night. We'll, <laughs> I'll maybe do one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll do two more. So I'll do the, 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 the cupcake. Right, we need blue. Just trying to work with what colors I already have here. So I'll get some blue. Okay. Right, so we're just going to roll this out. Like that, and you're sort of going to go down at an angle and across the top on the bottom. Then you're going to use your knife and you're just going to create sort of make it look like a cupcake case okay so now we need some beige colored like this this isn't dark enough so i'm going to just quickly throw a wee bit of brown into this So I'm just going to put a wee bit of this sugar flare dark brown in. Um, it's just a wee bit too light. This is why my hands always look, I mean, you can see pink. <laughs> They're always <laughs> full of food cover colouring. Oh, Simone. And it's hard because they don't really understand. Um, it's really hard for them to grasp that they can't really have a party, you know, because they just don't see the effects of it and why it's so important to be safe and not have big parties. My big girl, she's so you're just going to roll this out. She, her birthday's December, I've told you that before. And um, she's panicking because she set it on the sponge and then stick it on. Right, it's on the sponge and then I don't need to move it again. They'll be quite um, floppy like that just until they dry a wee bit and then they'll be great. Just to stick on your cake or cupcakes even. It's making me hungry looking at all this food. <laughs> it's no wonder the wee caterpillar was very hungry. Okay, so we'll do the lolly because that's a fairly easy one. Um, we'll do the lolly. Okay. So the wee stick. Good thing about these ones is they're everything's edible. You're not having to put wire into them or cocktail sticks. Whereas this wee guy here, he has a wee he has a wee cocktail stick um, in him for support. So you're always very conscious of that. You know, if you're giving these cake toppers to anybody that they do have wire cake or um 
cocktail sticks and stuff inside them, whereas these are fully edible, so they're ideal for the like of um, cupcakes. You're back, Bright Eyes. Hi. <laughs> so you're just going to roll another wee piece of fondant. And this is our, just going to be your lollipop stick. And that size. Okay. And I think this is the lollipop. Is it blue? I've just wiped that brown colouring now. Is it blue and yellow? I think it's blue and yellow. So I've got yellow here and I've got blue. So I'm going to roll out. I did a lollipop tutorial as well a few weeks ago, so probably didn't need to do the lollipops because you'll have seen how to do one, but we're started now. Okay. Um, yes, I did a tutorial on how to make lollipops in a, in a few different ways. So if you want to see that one, you can catch it. I will link it once this video is uploaded. Um, I'll link the lollipop tutorial for you guys. So, just run that out into like a snake shape. Then we're going to get some yellow here. Whoops. Do the same with the yellow. And you're just going to make sure they're both the same thickness. Okay, Let's see. Turn a bit. Okay, so now I'm just going to turn this wheel on under. Then you're going to take the blue and a bit of your water and place the water where they're going to join together. And that's just going to help it to stick on. I use this and tuck it in behind like that. And then you're just going to roll this along. And then once you get can kind of cut a line across the bottom there, like that. Okay, then we're going to place our hole in it. And then the stick, stick on the bottom. So do you want me to do some shading and stuff, guys? And I'll just show you quickly how to shade some of these. So I'm going to get, um, okay, I'm not going to shade the lollipop because I've just made it. I'll do the, I'll show you the pear. So for the pear, we're going to use, let's see, we'll use some of this. Um, it's rainbow dust. No, not, not that color. Let's see. This better. This holly green, which so that's a darker color. I do have apple green, but it's too similar a shade. It's too similar a shade. So I'm gonna use this. And I might use a wee bit of brown as well. Um okay, so get my brush. 
ですかね。And、then go around sort of the bottom on the outside. I don't know if you're getting this. Okay. So are you seeing that? It just sort of makes it a wee bit more Realistic.、Um, and you could, I'll do a wee bit of brown here. Okay.、Um, so this is brown、um, by Sugar Flare. I hate these wee tubes, I prefer those pots. There and then the brown. You can see, just go over those areas that you've already done. So you can see the difference that's made. I'll put a wee bit of brown on the. So that's that one.、Um, I'll do a wee bit of brown on my cheese here. So again, Just see, get the green, make sure I've got no green. Sort of more going to do around. So, can you see how me going over that with the brown has just made those wee holes more visible? And you don't need to go crazy with the dust. I think that was the mistake I used to sort of make.、Um, I used to get a bit overexcited. But a little bit goes a long way where the dusts are concerned. So there's the cheese.、Um, I might actually go in and do. Oh, there's Simone saying about the sausage, and then Baron was saying about the cherry pie. I might do another video and make some more because there's so many. What else was there? There's so many of the foods.、Um, so there's, that's that one.、Uh, I'll do a wee bit of brown on this. And then I think I'll do a bit. So you can see how it just. I just love this. The, The dusts. So there's the ice cream.、Um, what else? I'll do the cupcake here. Okay. Let's see. So, I'll do around the outside. I'm going to go in with different. Color here, going with the terracotta, I think. Let's see. This one, it's like an orangey kind of color, you can see.、Um, so it'll just sort of make it look a bit more cupcakey. And then, what you could even do with the blue, just blend that in a wee bit. The blue parts of the, you could go in with like a, oh, my wee lights just went out there.、Okay. Um, you can go in with like a blue to shade these areas as well. It'll just make your cupcake part stand out. That's a glacier blue dust. So 
that is pretty much it, guys. Um, whoopsie. I'll show you them all here together again. Is this we can the sponge? So that's your that's all your foods. Um and like I say, you can catch the tutorial on how to make the caterpillar as well. Um, so yeah, I hope that was helpful for you. I hope it didn't keep you too long. Um, and I'll hopefully see you tomorrow or later on in the week. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye.